In preparation to do the work on the back, I am actually going to lay out some paper towels so that the front doesn't get scratched and then lay it face down. In the other envelope are the other supplies we'll need. Our lights, which already have the uh, tape on the back, and then the magnets with spacers. And I want to point out that one of them has a hole so that you can string some string through there and hang it on a wall hanger if you choose to. That's the one that goes on higher at the top of the Mickey and the other one will go down towards the bottom. And I do them about an inch or two in and then this space will be for our battery pack. All right. So I'm going to get out my wood glue and you can use Elmer's glue. <laughs> It sometimes gets glued closed. Oh wait, honey, can you open this? All oh, right, thank you. All right, um, and so I'll put the glue on the opposite side of the magnet. And then place it down and I'm going to squish it down and glue will ooze out from the sides but that's okay that means you've got a good uh, spread on the inside all right and same with the other one all right good now I need to let those dry um, for about I don't know 15 20 minutes um, before I um, let them dry. I do want to make sure I left enough room in here for my battery pack. Once those are dry, we'll start on our LED lights. So I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back and check it in a little bit. Okay, our magnets are on. They've dried in place. And so now it's time to put the battery pack uh, down on the back. We have some foam double-sided tape that is very strong and so I need to figure out how am I going to place my battery pack. I always place it so that the on and off switch is over here on the right and then it slides open to the right. Maybe that's because I'm right-handed that's why I do that but that's how I'm going to place it and so I'm going to gently peel off the red backing and then I'm going to place that in the middle of the two magnets and then I'm going to press it down for about 30 seconds and after that time it should be on there really really good. In the meantime actually before we started recording this section, we plugged in the glue gun because we'll be needing it for uh, the LED lights on the back. So it's warm and ready to go. All right, so this is now adhered very strongly. The lights, there are 30 of them. All right, and so what I do when I am gluing is I figure out, okay, I'm going to want 15 on this side, 15 on this side, and so I space them out accordingly. What I do is I typically start here, and I put just a little drop of glue and hold it down until it uh, solidifies and go over about an inch maybe a little less than an inch and hold it down and I work my way around the Mickey head. After I've done that I'm actually going to go back over each one and do an additional overlapping 
layer of glue, hot glue, so that it's got some uh, more strength in its uh, being attached to the back. All right, now I'm going to go over each one with a little glue over the top just to help it stay attached to the back. Another thing I like to do is to glue these wires down so they're not as bulky. And so I'm going to put this around the battery pack. And then I will start gluing these wires down. And I have to be pretty careful because that hot glue is hot and I don't want to burn myself. And so what you can use is a little piece of wood or a spatula. I actually have a nice little finger uh, silicon finger protector and it does a great job keeping my finger from getting burned. This just helps clean up the back and, and make it look not so bulky and messy. Okay, we've got our lights glued onto the back. Now, if you are used to using hot glue, you know that there's tons of little strings that are attached. And I don't know if you can see them against my red shirt, but they are there. And so what I do after I've glued the lights on the back, I go around and I pull off as many of those little strings as I can. And just get them out of the way. Okay, and <laughs> I think that's most of them. It helps to hold it up against something dark and then you can see them better. Okay, all right. Now, um, it is good to go now um, with the lights. I do want to put some batteries in just to check out how it looks. All right, and these take AA batteries, three AA batteries. And you can set the battery pack to on all the time or to blinking. And so there it is. Um, and we'll post a picture of um, what it looks against the door. Thanks.